off the coast of Adelaide, Rob Laver is on his way to ignite a nation's greatest fear. He's a firefighter, but instead of fighting a fire, he's about to light one, a big one. Today we're going to undertake a ecological burn to reduce the fuel here in our Deep Creek National Park, it's a conservation zone. After months of planning, Rob and his team will burn 80 hectares south of the city. That minimises any major bushfires within the park and it will break up the fuel loads, so we don't lose the park in one whole fire event. With help from the Rural Fire Service, Rob sets up a drip torch. Testing. It's filled with gelified petrol, otherwise known as napalm. As the ground crews move to the edge of the burn zone, Rob and his pilot, John Gordon, return to the skies. Track out to the head of the fire, thanks. Yep. Commencing ignition. Pumps on. Ignition's on. OK, you got flame coming. we got flame ignition. Pops off, sir. Down we got ignition. Tracking down to the east, along the ridge line, on Alpha Sector, over. In seconds, the gelified petrol does its job. Rob and the crew must now hope the calm weather holds. There's always dangers with putting fire into our landscape. There's a lot of science behind it, weather conditions, relative humidities, fuel moistures. So all that is taken into account so we can make it as safe as possible. Fire behaviour's uh, pretty well. Uh, 1.5 metre flame height. Rate of spread would be 100 to 150 metres per hour. That line looks fantastic, John. Moving in a nice northwesterly direction. Flame height of two to three metres. Oh, a bit more in a few spots. Yeah, yeah, oh, absolutely. Burn pretty cleanly in behind it. It's running quite well. Nice uh, wind driven up the uh, crest, and then once it gets up to the top, it'll just back out. Controlled burns near populated areas are a risky necessity. Australia is a nation often ravaged by fire. Hundreds of lives and billions in property lost. If we're to continue sprawling the urban fringes into the bush, managing fire is essential. A lot of our vegetation here needs fire in the landscape for it to regenerate. It's been a part of Australia since the year dot. Then, almost as fast as it takes off, the fire starts to burn itself out. Today, the flames behave just as Rob predicted. The intensity has uh, died down immensely and it's blowing back on itself over. The northern most point of the fire is almost putting itself out. It's just the flank on the western side running backing fire down on Delta over. Uh reconfigure and then go up. Yeah, roger that. Track back to airbase. Park Air 56 out. 